Hey guys, Merry Christmas the day after Christmas. I hope you all had a great holiday. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, wanted to show you through a few things. Wanted to talk about a few things. And then I'm going to um, make a video on the next phase of our big mixed media piece. I noticed a lot of people... Um, put a lot of extra, like they did, they like filled their whole uh, paper with paper. And I might do that myself. I might just real quick slap some more paper on so I have more paper on mine. Um, it doesn't really matter either way. Um, it's fun either way. So I don't know what I might do. I might put some uh, tape and some more of the white spots or I don't know, whatever. So I hope you all had a ho good holiday. A few things I want to talk about. First of all, I want to show... Um, my husband bought me this beautiful, I'm going to make it my book of shadows. And I'm, I mean, look how gorgeous this is. It is so gorgeous. And it has this. Ugh, I'm knocking everything over. And it has this like beautiful paper in it. And it's all these signatures. And so I'm going to do it for my poetry and for, um, my book of shadows. So I'm so excited and, and like stuff like that, like it's going to be my special journal and I love it. Oh, I gotta put it down to close it. It closes. I love the latch. It like goes on and then you hook it. So it's like very, very fancy. I feel very fancy. So I will be carrying this with me everywhere. I love it. Real quick. I'm just showing you a few things. My daughter bought me because I love pen pastels and I have colors. Um, I have like the regular colors and all, and all I wanted was the metallics so badly. And so she surprised me and she bought me, um, all the metallic pen pastels. So I'm so beyond ecstatic with this. And, um, I have to actually go buy some of those plastic containers I was telling Angie about so I can put them all in, um, and I can have them all together and start using them. She also bought me all these new distress paints from Tim Holtz, um, antique linen and, uh, picket fence, bundled sage. She did like the Roy G. Biv kind of thing. Barn door, um, picked raspberry, spun sugar, fired brick that fell on the floor, rusty hinge, spiced marmalade, and salty ocean. So I cannot wait to, I have to get, um, another plastic container. <laughs> I'm going to be buying plastic containers today like crazy, but today Michael's has a coupon for, I believe, is it Michael's? Um, you get like a percentage off of whether it's what, whatever it is. So, um, of like oh, your whole order. So, um, that'll be good. So I can pick them up and they have the balls in these ones. Where the other ones, the older ones, when you first started selling, didn't have the balls, these do. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I I'm want to clean my art room, but um, before I really start anything, but, uh, you know, I'm too excited. And then she surprised me because I have, like, on my Amazon things, books that I'd like to get. Um, there was a time when we used to have Borders bookstore here and we have Barnes and Noble and, or any of the art, uh, arts or craft stores, they see more Michael's Joanne's or whatever. You could use your coupon and you could get books. And I would use my coupon all the time and buy new books that came out, art books. Well, they stopped doing it everywhere. Um, they used to do on magazines too at Barnes and Noble and they stopped that too. So she surprised me off my list and picked me up, um, for Christmas art doodle love and, uh, Creating Art uh, Art at the Speed of Life, 30 Days of Mixed Media Exploration by Pam Carriker. And this is from um, Dawn uh, Sokol. And I'm very excited just to sit and play and do this because I have not had new art books. Like I have so many books um, that I bought, but no, I haven't bought a new art book in a very, very long time. So I'm so, 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 so excited. So she really went went crazy for me. And, um, my husband, he bought me the journal. He bought me a tripod for my camera, which is back there. Um, and he bought me this awesome 
you don't need to necessarily see me, and I don't even know if you'll be able to see this big light. So when I record, it is, we were, I have the journal open because we we're playing with, like, to see the difference in the light and the everything else. So he bought it so um, I can record and stuff and actually have light in my room. And um, I'm so excited, so excited, so excited. So I got like, they got me this wonderful, wonderful, friggin' awesome camera. And they got me, um, my husband got me this awesome light that I'm, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to film. Cause like the difference is amazing. Let me see. Like this is the light on and that's the light off. And then when it's on and once it, I mean, like, look at the different, like you can see color. Like real color. I'm so excited. And you can see like when it when I zoom in and zoom out, like it's a completely like look. I didn't know it could look so good zoomed in. My camera, you know, of course my camera needs to adjust it when I zoom in. But like I could never zoom in like that and get like as good quality. It would look like crap. So I am beyond excited with that. So I'm trying to think what else. I don't want to forget anything because I am just so in love with everything I got. But I, my mind is such a uh, all over the place. Like, do, you know what I mean? With everything that I got that uh, I'm just so excited. I can't I can't stand it. So, um, OK, so let me talk about a few things. Um, number one, ATC cards. Okay, ATC cards. You can buy them in these little packages at Michael's and AC Moore and Joann's, anywhere, anywhere. You can get them. These are textured. You can get them for mixed media. They'll have mixed media here. It'll be watercolor. It'll be acrylics. You can buy them with, so they, the paper is different paper. Okay, these are great. Um, if you have a coupon or they're on sale, or if you have the money to be able to buy these, I think these are great. I have a few packs I had bought and then I keep, you know, around whatever um also measure your playing cards because a lot of playing cards are two and a half by three and a half which is your atc card and i have done many many atc cards on these and all you do is you just gesso both sides or one side it doesn't matter as i rip all my paper up um it doesn't matter i can probably close this now just looking. Um, so you just gesso them, sit down one day, gesso a bunch of them, and then you have your ATC cards. And like I said, to measure them, let's see, we have approximately three, it's, it's three and a half. And then to go this way, it is two and a half. You're maybe a millimeter off which does not really matter. So if you have a deck of old cards, measure them. If you're a millimeter or so off, it does not matter. Um, and we use these for ATC cards all the time. And I don't even have like a whole deck here because I use them, you know, when I was doing them. And they're very sturdy. And so if you don't have the money to go out, but you have an old deck of cards, why not use them or go to the dollar store and measure them? Because some do not, are not, they're not all the same. I can't find the other ones I had. I have a pack here they are, that I got in, um, when my sister got, no, my cousin got married in Vegas. My sister too, but this is from my cousin. And these are cards that right now I can't open. And when I measured these, these were much smaller because these are like, on the front it says the year the, the, and date and their name and all that kind of stuff. But these are only three and not even maybe, maybe a quarter by two inches. So these obviously, you know, but they're specialty ones because they, they made them for their wedding. But regular like jump, you know, the regular playing cards measure. And if you go to the dollar store and you don't have a ruler on you, go grab a ruler from the ruler aisle and just measure real quick. And like I said, or if you're at home, you could see how beat up and old these are. These are um, what I use a lot of the time, and they're awesome. So that's, you know, something really for you to um, think about, you know what I mean? Also, something else that you can use that I do, I do this two different ways. I either go buy at the dollar store, and you can buy them at the craft stores too, poster board. 
And then I take my ruler or I take a, a, a card, like one of the artist trading cards, or I cut out one of the size that you want. And then I'll go trace it with pencil through on a piece of sc white scrapbook uh, paper, you know, the scrapbook paper you buy, cardstock rather, white cardstock, or I buy um, the poster board and I'll just sit and trace. And then you cut them all out and you have your own for a dollar, you can get three sheets of the poster board at the dollar store, or you can get them at the um, different sizes at the craft store. And then you just cut them. You can sit and cut on your cutting board, your cutting mat with a exacto knife. If you have an old quilting um, uh, rotary cutter, you can use that, and you just make your own. So, and it costs you. It'll cost you nothing. So, for those who can't afford to, you know, go buy the little packs of already cut trading cards, which are great. I think they're great. Um, I prefer to make my own because then I can make my own pile. I go buy, which I always have poster board and foam core here anyway. But, or like I said, you go buy your card stock, which is probably, you know, easier for some people to handle. Um, and, or like Angie has that um, big piece of, uh, what's it called? The plastic. It just left my head. The acrylic plastic, you know, that she was, doing for her washi tape and she can put a piece of poster board on there, mark it all off and make her own artist trading card blanks on there and just cut it on there. Perfect. Um, so you can definitely do that. You don't have to, you know, there's no thing. The normal size for your poster, I mean, for your ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. So anything you find around your house or you cut, it could be scrapbook paper. It could be cardstock. It could be poster board. It could be, um, you know, whatever you have. So that's the size that you want. And like I said, most playing cards are that size. So if you have some laying around and you don't use them like I did, uh, this is destroyed and old. I just gesso, I just will set them up here and just gesso one side, like before I'm done in here for the night and then come in the next morning, turn them over, gesso them. They dry quick. Um, it takes the gloss off. You have a, a gesso and then go to town. Or it, you can leave the back, whatever it is, and then make, you know what I mean? And then sign your name and whatever, and whatever, and then just gesso the front of the card, you know, or opposite, whatever. And then you can only just gesso one side. It does, you, you don't have to do both. So it's very, very cool, very fun, very easy to make your own, very cheap. The dollar store, like I said, go buy your poster board there or whatever. And uh, bring it home and cut it yourself. Cut it with scissors. Cut it with a um, exacto knife. Cut it with you know whatever. So it works really good. Um, different sprays. Somebody wanted me to either give them a site to go to look for different sprays about different sprays, or for me to talk about different sprays. I have a lot of sprays, so that'll be a video I will do. As far as um, making sprays, I say this all the time, and you can, I saw on the Frugal Crafter that she adds a little bit of glycerin to hers, but the, the, um, sprays, uh, dilutions really are just water and food coloring with a mixative in it. And it might even be glycerin. I don't know. I have a few dilutions, but I told you guys before, Walmart, I got these at Walmart for like a dollar, empty, brand new, come with lids. Um, you can get them at your pharmacy or wherever. These are in the sample aisle at the Walmart. Um, they come in millions of different colors. I have tons of these. I save all my old uh, body sprays and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and you can mix your own up with watercolor and water, acrylic and water. And definitely food dye. Go to the dollar store, buy your food dye, and the more food coloring you put in with your water, and if you have glycerin, which is cheap at the, um, you know, I mean, you can get it at the Walmart pharmacy section or at your pharmacist. Um, I don't use it in mine, but you can definitely put in a lot of food coloring with your water and get the same effect as dilutions. And you can mix and make your own colors. You can make variations of a color if you want it a light green and you want a dark green. And, you know, you can even add a little bit of uh, acrylic paint in with it. Um, you know what I mean? If you want it to be more of a creamier color, like experiment. 
Like I said, the dilutions are a bit expensive for sprays. I wait until they go in Blitzy and I buy them for there from there for like three ninety nine or whatever. Um, or I, if there's a color, my stores don't really sell them around here. They only have like maybe three of the colors. And I already have them, but if I run out, I'll just use a coupon and get it for half off. So, um, you know, that's definitely um, an alternative for people who want to have all kinds of, sp of sprays. And then you can put BBs, uh, somebody had written, you could put glass marbles, whatever, at the bottom of these. And then before you use it, you give it a nice shake like these have in there. And it shakes all that pigment up and it shakes everything that settles and you're good to go and always wipe your nozzle no matter what you use to make your sprays um, just so it doesn't dry you know and get crusty so it comes out even but these Walmart so cheap tons of them I get them every time I go I grab a couple um, I've bought I, I know Michael sells these from Stampendous but they are a bit more expensive um, than these I think that big bottle is like $2.99 or $3.99 and I used a coupon because I had an extra coupon I thought let me just buy it but um these are great and you can get these anywhere you know so and like I said food coloring is awesome 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 or what else is great is liquid watercolor which is by the more um like in your Michaels has it I know Michaels has it um by the Liquitex paints and uh stuff like that they have liquid watercolor so start by picking up a couple of the smaller liquid watercolors and you put it in your bottle and you got a gorgeous, gorgeous spray. So maybe if I go there today, I'll pick up one and show you guys. And you can make your own sprays and then you still have watercolor to work with. But like I said, you don't even have to do that. You can use whatever you have. Um, somebody, gosh, I didn't write the name down. I want to say... I think it's Linda, but she had written down about doing maybe a, um, like a card a day once a week, like one of the, uh, CADs, but like doing it once a week that we can all do. And, um, I think that would be fun, like for the new year. And if you guys think that sounds like something fun that you guys would like to do that we can all participate in, um, put it down in the, um, comment section that you would be interested in doing it. Um, I hate being on camera. I I'm not feeling very well. Okay. Um, also dryer sheets, um, little Willie's uh, yeah, uh, is allergic to the dryer sheets. And then somebody had uh, uh, said, what about the sensitive ones? And then somebody had said, what about, which this is a great one. Um, which was one of my things. I have two things that I'm going to, I didn't bring the one up to show you, but I'm going to mention this one are the baby wipes. Um, buy cheap baby wipes or, for sensitive skin for babies. Would that bother you? Would that, um, you let them dry out and they stretch out beautifully and do all that too. Are, are you allergic to those as, the, as well as dryer sheets? Um, because like the baby wipes that they make for sensitive skin, you know, they don't have, they have aloe in it. They don't have all that stuff that dryer sheets have on it. So let me know about the baby wipes. If you are, I'm going to take a baby wipe uh, out of my thing and leave it dry and then we'll play with it and I'll show you. Um, and then I'm going to use the other thing that isn't either one of those. Um, I'm going to bring it up later. And, uh, when I do my next thing on our mixed media, I'm all over the place talking, um, and show you what my idea is. So I think that's it. I think that's all I have today. Um, just a real quick hello and hope you all had a great holiday. I can't, uh, we had a great, you know, we had a really good day and everything like that. Um, we stayed home and just had a great, great time just hanging out together. And I, I didn't even walk in here. I don't think for two days. So I really want to get it straightened up and cleaned up. And I have, uh, stuff I want to put away and rearrange and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm very excited, very excited with all my new art stuff and my books. I haven't even looked at my books yet. Cause I have to, it's like, like a ritual the way I sit down and look at new, like my art books and stuff like that. So I'm so excited just to sit and, and look at them. And I got, I, I think I mentioned to you guys, I got my, um, I got my book, the practical witch book from 
Carol Moyer that I ordered. I have about, God, hundreds of Wiccan books. Yeah. But I wanted to support her and I wanted to see like what, um, I love what looking what other people do and what they, you know, I've been practicing for 30 years, but, um, but I got my practical magic for the penny pinching, Witch, and they print it when you order it and it is beautiful and gorgeous. And that's another book added for me too. And it was, I only really paid, what was it? $9.99, something like that. And it's beautiful. And when I ordered it, they printed it. Or you can get it for your Kindle. Anybody who got a Kindle and is interested. But I love it because it's big. I can read. The words are big. And uh, it, it's like for the penny pinching witch. So I love to, to write stuff down. So, And it's, it's just wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I've been like kind of, you know, peeping through it before I really sit and uh, do it look at it. So I got that. So if anybody's interested, let me know. I'll put the link down. It is I, from what I've seen. It, it, I'm just so excited. I can't wait. And I am just thrilled. I just hope you all had a great, great, great holiday. Got a video. Like I said, coming up, I wanted to talk about the sprays and how you can make your own. Of course, you know, you can always make it with acrylic paint or your watercolor paint very easily. Um, you can add a little bit of alcohol in some to make an alcohol spray or even open it up and you dip your brush in it. They have a lot of um, little like uh, containers that like they're all connected that like, you can put like paints in or whatever. So you can mix your little bit of alcohol and um, paint and stuff in it and use it with your brush and paint or do whatever. Um, also, like I had mentioned before where I bought my bottle, you can get... Um, squirt bottles, not, not spray bottles, but like bottles that like squirt out, like as if you put moisturizer or whatever in it. And that's a great thing too, for your alcohol inks. Um, you know, and then you get yourself a little dropper, you know what I mean? So then you can close it. It's closed shut. You know, those are your alcohol inks that you made and you don't confuse them like I do with my sprays when I make them. And, um, so there's a lot of ways to to really organize and I'm really going to organize, um, these next couple uh, of days and get myself situated to where, um, you know, I can really work in a very, very good way and work and, and make art and my jewelry and stuff and get up my store again and just be more organized. So, um, and be more productive. So I hope you all had a great, uh, holiday. I will see you later on with a video with my mixed media next stage. Um, I'm so excited for that. And I've been, I've been doing it slow. I know people keep emailing me and, um, for clay and for the next part of our mixed media thing. But with the holidays, I don't want to overwhelm too many people. Um, because they, you know, it's your, it's holiday time and everybody got stuff to do. And, you know, so I was just trying to take it a little slow, you know, for everybody, but I definitely will get those done and please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Um, I'm very blessed to have all of you in my life. Um, I got a lot of fun stuff planned, a lot of crazy stuff planned, a lot of wonderful things. And Molly, um, I just want to let you know, I messaged you on YouTube. Let me know, uh, you know, right back. I uh, want to see how you're doing. And um, that's about it. So I hope that helped you with the artist trading cards. I hope that uh, helped you to make your own sprays. It's very simple. And any questions, just ask. I make sprays all the time. I will, however, go through all the different sprays you can buy that I have um, and tell you what I think is good and what I tell you I think is shit. And um, as far as dryer sheets, not being able to use them, are you able to use the baby wipes? And if not, I have, I'm even going to show you something else. And again, make your ATC cards with your poster board or your card stock. And let me know down at the bottom if you guys want to do a card a week. Like card a day, but it'll be card a week. Um, you know, in the next year. So if you like this video and all that, give me a thumbs up. If you found me and are interested in moving forward into a good new year with all of us here, 
sub. Um, it's right below my name. I would appreciate it. I'm almost 1500 now and I'm thrilled to death. I'm going to have a giveaway coming up soon and I think I'm done blabbering. So I will see you guys later and I hope you all have a great day. Bye guys.